Welcome to our review on changing kinetic energy. First thing to understand then is that any moving object has kinetic energy because kinetic energy is movement. Now we've got two factors that are going to affect how much kinetic energy this object has. The first one is its mass and the greater the mass the greater the kinetic energy and the second one is its speed and the faster that object moves the greater the kinetic energy. We do need to understand the exact relationship between our mass and the speed and kinetic energy. So what we've got are two distinct patterns. First one is if we double the mass, then our kinetic energy will double. If we look at the speed, however, when we double our speed, the kinetic energy quadruples. Now you need to remember those exact phrases okay so if ever you get an exam question that asks you what happens to the kinetic energy when the mass is doubled you have to say it doubles saying it increases won't get you the mark just like if it asks you what happens when the speed is doubled to the kinetic energy you have to say it quadruples the most likely application of this is looking at a roller coaster so what we've got in the image there then is just a little section of roller coaster track now we need to consider what's going to happen to gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy at the various points along the track itself. So at the very start of our roller coaster, we can see we've got our maximum GPE. So that is our roller coaster that's not actually moving at that point in time. So we've just got maximum GPE, no kinetic energy. As the roller coaster then starts to move down that first hill, that gravitational potential energy is converted into our kinetic energy. So we're seeing our GPE decrease as the kinetic energy increases. When we get down to the bottom of that dip, we've got a very high kinetic energy because our gravitational potential energy is low because we're low down. Then as we start to go back up the slope, what we see is the kinetic energy is converted back into gravitational potential energy and so on along the track. Finally, we need to understand how gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy are related in terms of the equations. So what we can actually say mathematically is that the change in gravitational potential energy equals the change in kinetic energy. So putting those two equations together, that tells us that our mass times the gravitational field strength times height, so mgh, equals half times the mass times the velocity squared. So that gives us our summary equation you can see at the top there. Now, one of the things they might ask you to do is to actually work out the height from this. So it might be asking you how high the roller coaster hill was, for example. So to do that, we need to rearrange those equations. Because we've got mass on both sides, it just cancels out. And then just applying basic maths principles, we rearrange it to get the formula h equals v squared divided by 2g. So that tells us that height equals our velocity squared divided by two times the gravitational field strength. Now, obviously we know that gravitational field strength on Earth is 10, so it's basically gonna be height equals your velocity squared divided by 20.